Hello and thanks for joining us for Western Perspective. Tonight, more and more Australians are buying their own home despite the high cost of houses across the country. But many young home buyers are suffering high financial pressure after taking out mortgages to pay for their new homes. So is it worth the financial strain? We take a look at why mortgages are an issue for home buyers. It's been a goal of all Australians, owning your own home, the Australian dream. Many home buyers have taken out mortgages to buy their own home, as a result of many properties being priced above buyer incomes. I think that um, Western Australia, we were the first to actually experience ho housing affordability issues. Housing industry experts say Perth is currently experiencing a slowing property market, with interest rates sitting at 1.5%. But some homeowners are feeling mortgage stress, despite homes currently becoming more affordable. I think households are probably not as resilient as uh, people in the past where they can tighten their belts. Uh, you know, these households are probably facing those difficulties. Curtin Business School senior lecturer Elson Go says recent studies reveal high and low income home buyers are facing mortgage stress as a result of how much households are spending. A particular study that has been done by uh, and taken up by Four Corners is that uh, they've looked at uh, mortgage stress in terms of um, overall or total household spending. Now, if you have looked at a previous uh, study in, back in April by Roy Morgans, it showed that uh, over the last 10 years, mortgage stress has actually decreased uh, by about 10%. Although mortgage repayments may have decreased over time because of lower interest rates, uh, people's household spending may not have decreased the same. He says it's a common issue because it's become difficult to determine what's required spending. So discretionary expenses are things that you know, it's once, things that you can live without. Uh, but unfortunately today when we look at what we classify as uh, discretionary, it's, the lines are blurred. He says bad spending habits have impacted on people's budgets and their ability to manage their mortgage, with low income earners most at risk. You know, we are spending beyond our means and we're certainly not making those right choices when it comes to uh, uh, budgeting. Property Council of Australia's WA Executive Director Alex Rhodes agrees. However, she believes some people are putting too much of their income into their mortgage. Make sure that you're only allocating no more than 30% of your household income to a mortgage. Certainly people who may have bought into a heated property market may also have bought into, um, been lured into purchasing properties that were either overvalued or they overextended their um, ability to pay a loan. While Perth's property market has seen a decrease in house prices by about 10% in the last five years, making homes more affordable, experts say Australia's property industry has gone to great lengths to address housing affordability. However, it's still up to high and low income buyers to understand what they can afford and how they manage their budgets to be able to continue mortgage repayments. Today when people are actually applying for mortgages, they, um, they certainly um, are given a lot of, they are advised to get a lot of financial advice. But again, you need to um, make sure that you have cover off on other um, checks such as making sure that you have income protection. And both Elson and Alex believe people need to take into account their budgets while avoiding unnecessary spending to prevent the mortgage headache. Um, in those situations, people really are going to have to seek financial advice uh, in terms of how they actually might rearrange their, their household budget. Don't look too far ahead. <laughs> you know, get into a much smaller property uh, so that at least you can, you can make uh, bigger chunks in, in uh, mortgage repayment. And that's all for this week. Ivan and Danny, it's back to you. Nelson, thank you. Our main news again this week. Uphouse crossbench MPs are fighting against the McGowan government's move to increase royalties for gold miners. During an exclusive interview, One Nation MLC Colin Tengler argued the tax hike will kill local jobs and regional towns will be devastated. But the Treasurer remains confident that no jobs will be lost. And that's our weekly news and current affairs. You can catch the latest news and website on our Facebook. Have a good one. Until 5.30 next Sunday. Thanks to your company. Have a good evening. Good night.